<clears throat> Let wisdom speak. A 31-day Bible reading in the book of Proverbs. Well, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Donald Oliver, and welcome again. 6.30 is the time each evening that we gather for the reading of a chapter in the book of Proverbs. I pray that you will be inclined to open your heart, your mind that is, to receiving the wisdom from the book of Proverbs. So tonight, let us read chapter 22 and hear what wisdom has to say. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and goal. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth his of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in the Lord. I have made known to thee this day even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee to know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them 
that sinned unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of them that spoileth them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seeth thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Well, we've read tonight Proverbs chapter 22, verses 1 through 29. I pray that you'll continue to increase in wisdom as you read through the book of Proverbs. I invite you to join us tomorrow for our Sunday online service. It's a time of worship, a time of prayer, and a time of ministering the word by the grace of the Lord. That is 1.15 Sunday afternoon Eastern Time or Eastern Standard Time, as some might call it. Also, on Thursdays, you can join us for Bible study and prayer, 7 p.m., right here in our Facebook group or on YouTube. That's Donald Oliver Ministries, whether on Facebook or YouTube. Again, I pray that you've been blessed by the word this evening and that you will always find yourself deferring to the word of God. And I say deferring because you ought to prefer God's word over the opinions of men, prefer God's word even over your own opinion. For Proverbs tell us, lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. So tomorrow at 1.15, look forward to seeing you as we will gather around the word of God in worship, prayer, and ministry. But until then, be safe, be well, be blessed, and let wisdom speak.